वेलकम टू चैप्टर थ्री टाइटल्ड मूविंग ऑन ऑफ द तुषार शो द तुषार शो इज स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय द तुषार टाइम्स न्यूज़पेपर एंड द तुषार ब्रॉडकास्टिंग कंपनी द तुषार टाइम्स न्यूज़पेपर कैन बी फाउंड ऑन एट द रेट द अंडर स्कोर तुषार अंडर स्कोर टाइम्स एंड द तुषार ब्रॉडकास्टिंग कंपनी कैन बी फाउंड ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एट द रेट द अंडर स्कोर तुषार अंडर स्कोर ब्रॉडकास्टिंग अंडर स्कोर सी ओ यू कैन ऑल्सो सपोर्ट बोथ दीज बोथ दीज कंपनीज एंड देर मिशन्स ऑन पेट्रियन मॉनिटरली बाय फंडिंग मे बी वन और टू डॉलर देर ऑप्शन ऑफ paying $1 or $2 payments for some bonus material and extra reminders so for that you can log on to www.patreon.com slash forward slash your underscore local underscore podcaster and you'll find Tushar and we're back to episode back to the episode this is episode 3 guys and girls and everyone this is this is really new and interesting because it's like starting podcasting all over again <laughs> i have never told stories on my podcast i've never told about myself on my podcast so i'm really trying to figure out what kind of information is sensitive what information is not what should be shared on the net what should not be shared on the net whether something should be removed whether something should not be removed but if you start thinking about all of this it's like removing the essence of who you truly are you can't think of who you are you are who you are and if you start thinking about the things you want to say and the things you don't want to say that is applying a filter to yourself and that that isn't truly authentic and truly vulnerable and raw because yes a lot of information can be misused and yes a lot of details can be misread and a lot of things can be misinterpreted but i think that is the game to convey who you are authentically and to try to express it in such a way in which you convey your message and you make people understand who you really are rather than creating confusions and all sorts of conspiracies i am just trying to be as human and candid as possible and i know that makes the biggest difference because we are all afraid of being ourselves the most it's very easy to be someone else it's very easy to uh put on a mask but the most difficult and the easiest thing is to be yourself because once you choose to be yourself then you don't really need to think about who you are and what you're saying so if you know me and uh okay how do i put it if if some sort of sensitive information what you reg- what you consider sensitive information this this is maybe for someone who knows me and who knows the person i am talking about this may be sensitive information in one case but it's my life it's a part it's been a part of my life journey and experience and thus i am sharing it because it's a part of my life experience and i've taken it i've taken i've made sure or i have promised myself to only share names information and details of things that will add value to people that will inspire people that will spread the good vibes i i'm not here to share details and put people on the spot or uh, i mean get the word out or spread rumors 
that isn't my cause but there may be cases in which i may have to tell a back story about something and that's why i have to speak about people and in doing so uh in doing so i will not regret it there there may be some kind of i don't know whether drama will spur or not but i won't regret it because i trust my decisions and choices and i'm coming from a place of service and thus i shall not regret the decisions and choices i make for naming people events circumstances etc etc it's my life and this is my show guys if honestly if anyone has a problem with the show or with the fact that your name is being taken or some event is being to- spoken about even though it will be a good one then the best the best or the best choice for you is to stop hearing the show and there are uh, 300000 more podcasts out there just hear the episode of some other podcast i guess but i'm going to continue on my journey of self discovery and uh retrospection and introspection and i'm going to be moving on to chapter number 3 on how my parents influenced this podcast so in chapter 2 i talked about how my grandfather my mother's my maternal grandfather influenced podcasting because he tried to influence good thoughts into my mother who also turned out to be an avid reader of self help and self development and read a lot of parenting books and uh, she was married to my father who was also a grounded man and who is also a grounded man and a calm natured man he likes to sing he is a musician he is also a doctor in the army i think this would be giving sensitive information as to where exactly he is working and everything i'm not sure i'm really yeah that would be sensitive information if someone could do something about it but you don't know what people can do about what nowadays but let's keep it to this he is a he is a doctor and he's serving in the indian army and i'm very proud of him and he he always spent a lot of time with me when i was a child so i had a nice uh i i was cultured very well when i grew up i was taught all the good i was taught how to greet people well i was taught how to behave in front of people i was taught to respect people my basic etiquettes and manners were looked after even my father's side parents my grandmother and grandfather my grandfather is no longer with us but i will be putting a podcast that i had done with him sometime soon but my grandmother and my grandfather uh they were also very respectable people in the society because my grandmother was an engineer in a time that women didn't get the opportunity to study and she was known for the fact that she graduated and she was a scientist in hindustan aeronautical laboratories national aeronautical laboratories and that was a very big deal my grandfather was an agricultural scientist and they they both cultured my father very well and uh, my father also came from a background of a joint family so my grandfather had seven brothers and so that's that's how he used to take my father to uh, all these brothers he he would take them to his brother's houses so my father's uncle's houses and my father met a lot of cousins so my father has always been in a very 
cultured society he's been in a society filled with love he's been in a society with filled with a lot of family connections and he shared a lot of uh love and relationships with his blood relatives so that's my father's side and he's had he has uh, these beautiful cousins who are my uncles and aunts so he's come from a family of strong family bonding and uh family structure so we are all south indians so he belongs to he belongs to my grandfather belonged to a town named chikmagalur my grandmother belonged to a town named mysore a city named mysore and they then settled in bangalore after they started working and after they were married so my father actually is from both of these places mysore and chikmagalur but he, now he calls himself a bangalorean so even i am actually a bangalorean my mother is from chennai and even she has had her share of fun with family she has uh, beautiful aunts and who are my grand aunts then so so we've had a very strong family background my mother and my father both have had a very very strong family background and because of this family background we are united and they cultured me very well they had all the right qualities they had all the right a uh, mix of love they gave me a lot of love and they treated me well they didn't buy me a lot of they bought me they they sh- they showed me abundance but didn't but which was not materialistic they weren't full out materialistic people i mean i have a i had a lot of toys i felt i could get more compared to some of my friends when i was very small but my mother would share knowledge with me she would read me a lot of encyclopedias she would tell me about dinosaurs and she would tell me about uh about the oceans and countries and she would show me pictures she would show me so many things in the encyclopedia she would show me about tell me about animals and birds and so many wonderful things which are in an encyclopedia dk encyclopedia yeah and my father would read me bedtime stories and he would make up his own stories and i wanted to hear the same story every day i remember once i told him to tell me a story about a tube light and a light bulb and he would make it up and i would like to sleep on his hand in the nights i loved my father a lot when i was a small boy i love him a lot now too but he was my hero he was the person i would want to i want i want i would want to copy everything he did and i would have these silly quizzes with him and my mother in which i would say things like what's my favorite color and i had real i really had no answer probably blue or yellow or something and the answer would vary every time i guess my mother would say something and my father would say something and i would always say whatever my father says is the right answer regardless whether my mother was right or wrong and yeah i would have these silly games i would uh it was really it was a fun time i mean my father was an army officer so we traveled uh, to a lot of stations and there were there were clubs at these stations where there were lawns and i would go and play in the lawn my father and mother would uh, just sit on the on the tables and chairs order some snacks maybe my father would have a drink occasionally or have a lime and soda have some peanuts and watch me play 
and that was my childhood so i had a very lucky childhood in which my parents would my parents had taken care of me really really well really really well i'm feeling very very uh, reverent and grateful about that and when i was 3 i had a sister who was adopted i'll meet you on the next episode and we're going to talk about my lovely sister my lovely little sister and how she influenced me into the world of podcasting i think this is getting very real and i hope you are enjoying it do subscribe to my instagram newspaper the tushar times tushar is spelled t u s h a a r do subscribe to the tushar broadcasting company because that's where you're going to get notifications about the next podcast uh the next podcast yes and and uh yeah support me on patreon if you can i guess that's all i have to say for for now the recording time and date is 12:22 pm 11th of may 2019 indian standard time i hope you have a beautiful day i'll meet you again on the next podcast